Shalom, brothers and sisters. Let's quickly take a moment and appreciate the awesomeness of the Hebrew letter Tav. Tav could mean cross, as in the cross of Jesus Christ, a mark, a covenant, truth, perfection, a sign, ownership, or a seal. Just like we have the seal of God on us. 400 is the number in the Bible. Tav's Hebrew meaning is connected to 400. The end of 400 years of slavery in Egypt. That comes to mind. With a sign on doorposts, which would have been a Tav. Four from the 400 connects it with Dalet, which symbolizes a door. Jesus is that door. It is the 22nd letter of the alphabet, just like there are 22 chapters in the book of Revelation to final completion of absolutely everything to do with mankind. Tav is used to denote the end or conclusion of something. It signifies the fulfillment of God's plan and the restoration of all things. As that all happened at the cross. Paleo-Hebrew's symbol was a cross. And modern Hebrew sign looks similar to a door. Like the blood applied to the lintels of the doors for protection from death. As we have the blood of Jesus Christ applied to us. The design of the letter Tav is made up of a Dalet and a Nun drawn together to make the modern Tav. Dalet, the door, and Nun, life, activity, or action. The door to life. Accepting what Jesus did and taking that action. A Dalet and a Nun together spell out the word done. Done means to judge, the great judge, the lion of the tribe of Judah. Tav, modern Tav, is made up of three lions. Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Three in one letter. Now the interesting thing is Tav is the last letter of the Hebrew word truth, which in Hebrew is emet. I am the way, the truth. And the life. No one comes to the Father but by me, said Jesus Christ. And now the beautiful piece. In Ezekiel 9 verse 4, it depicts a vision in which Tav plays a Passover role similar to the blood on the lintel on the doorposts of the Hebrews' homes. In Ezekiel's vision, the Lord had his angels separate the demographic wheat from the chaff by going through Jerusalem, the capital city of ancient Israel, and inscribing a mark, so a tav, upon the foreheads of the men that sigh and that cry for all the abominations that are being done in their midst. In Ezekiel's vision, then, the Lord is counting tav marked Israelites as worthwhile to spare. But counts the people worthy of annihilation who lack the Tav and the critical attitude it signifies. In other words, looking at a culture marked by dire moral decline compared to those that are crying out to God, that have a zeal for God, marked on their foreheads by a Tav, his cross, his blood, his seal, his ownership. Of us, his redeemed and bought bride. And now we stand at a time where we are sealed and marked by God as his own. And the world is getting ready to accept the seal and mark of the enemy and celebrate darkness, ruin, destruction. And are marked for wrath as God literally separates the wheat from the chaff. And again, Tav, the last Hebrew letter, central to all of this, 
just as the cross of Jesus Christ our Lord is central to absolutely everything. If you need me, I'll be at the foot of the cross. Safest place to be. Right by Jesus. There where he thought of me when he took the nails. God bless. Keep looking up. Keep diving deeper. Keep growing closer to our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Shalom.